Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's talk about the Roche limit of Jupiter. Of course, before we can talk about it, we need to understand what the Roche limit actually is. Well, it's a distance. And if an object comes within that distance, the gravitational forces of the planet will be so strong that it will essentially pull that object apart, especially if it's a large enough object, such as a small moon. So what we can then see is that if an object is outside the Roche limit, it will stay intact. But if it somehow ventures inside the Roche limit, the tidal forces will simply shred that object to pieces. And then as we then believe that those pieces would potentially form a ring, depending upon, of course, how that object approaches the planet. We can calculate the Roche limit by taking, and of course, there's two limits. One is if the object is fluid, of course, that could also be particles inside a ring that are not attached to one another. We can think of that as a fluid. Or if it's completely made out of liquid, how easy would it be to shred that object apart? Well, it would be a lot easier to do so if it was fluid as compared to it being rigid like a solid rock type of moon. Notice that the Roche limit can be calculated by taking 2 point, ooh, that's not 2.16, is it? No, that would be 1.16. Well, let me just look it up just to make sure that I got the right limit here. Uh, 1.26, that's right, 1.26. I got the numbers reversed. All right, 1.26, that's the proper number. So it's the cube root of 2, which is 1.26, times the radius of Jupiter, times the cube root of the ratio of the density of the planet, in this case Jupiter, divided by density of the object, in this case let's assume it's a moon. Now for, if it's made out of a fluid material, of course, that would be the limit. But if it's a rocket material, which is typically the case for moons, then we take the number 2.44 times the radius of Jupiter, the, times the, the cube root of the ratio of the density of Jupiter divided by the density of the moon. Now, if you take a look at the four nearest moons of Jupiter, Metis, Adrastea, Amalthea, and Thebe, notice that they are rigid, and notice that they are 1.23, 1.24, 1.74, and 2.13 times the Roche limit. So all of the moons are outside the Roche limit, so there's no danger of them getting pulled apart. Now notice Methods and Andrastrea are reasonably close, but still far enough away to remain intact. Now if they were made out of a fluid material, notice that the first three moons would have easily been pulled apart because of the gravitational forces of Jupiter. But they're not, they're solid, and so therefore they are far enough away from Jupiter to be pulled up, uh, not to be pulled apart. Now notice here the radius of Jupiter being 71,500 kilometers and the density about 1.326 grams per cubic centimeter. Now let's assume that we had a moon that was the size of Jupiter, but it was rocky material. It would then be much more dense and then any moon venturing that close to the planet would simply be shred apart and it would have had a nice ring system made out of those particles around the planet Jupiter. So that's what we mean by the Roche limit and that is how we can tell whether or not an object like a moon close enough might get shred apart over time uh, as compared to um, not being shred apart. Now typically moons due to the tidal forces will cause will be sped up because as the planet spins around and the tidal bulge gets ahead of the line between the moon and the planet the planet will get pulled along by that tidal bulge will speed up as a speed up the moon will slowly end up being farther and farther away from the planet that's the case with earth's moon earth's moon is slowly moving away from us at about a rate of about three something centimeter between three and four centimeters per year and then you can tell that over time, the moon will slowly move further away, will speed up, and of course, we'll get farther away from this Roche limit. Now, our moon isn't anywhere near the Roche limit of the Earth, so there's no chance of it getting pulled apart. The same may happen with the planets around Jupiter. Because of the tidal forces, they may get pulled farther, or because of the gravity interaction, the ones that are very close to the Roche limit sometimes do end up getting pulled closer to the planet, and eventually their demise will then be that they get shred apart. Uh, the moon Phoebe, uh, Phobos? No, uh, 
not Phoebe, the moon Phobos of Mars is one of those moons that's close enough to Mars that might get pulled in close enough to get within the Roche limit of Mars and that happens, the moon will get pulled apart. I've seen some articles on that where they estimate that maybe in 10 to 50 million years Phobos may get close enough to Roche limit to end up being pulled apart because of the gravitational forces, but we don't think that's going to happen to the moons on Jupiter and that is how it is.